Um, you know, if, if, if it looks like a rat, it smells like a rat, it acts like a rat, it is a rat. So how many people think this is a hoax? I rest my case. Thank you very much. A couple of questions. Yes, sir. Yeah? Do, do, do I have time? Can I play it? I can, I, I can actually play it. Get that nice segue. We didn't even talk. Can I play it? Okay, here we go. I'm going to play this taxi grabber story. Essentially, Dave Smith told me this story in September 1998. A woman is driving a taxi cab in Stoddard, New Hampshire, when she gets lost on an old logging road called Turtle Rock Road. When she tries to turn around, she backs into a tree that turned out to be a gorilla with green eyes and, and tried to grab the cab. Here we go. Let's, let's see if this works. What was that? Yes. Teddy Kennedy, and he's dead. No, I don't, I don't think um, there many people, there, there are a lot of people heavily medicated, yes, that uh, multiple prescriptions. And um, in, in, if you look at the news in New England, you have top stories, then they have brazen Vicodin uh, and uh, Percocet robberies, then they go to the weather, then they go to sports, and then they, they see... Uh, the hit and runs, but uh, well, it's, it's, uh, we're slowly moving from a liberal state back, fortunately, uh, uh, to the Republican side. We're swinging back to the right. And uh, I had a fortune of uh, Scott Brown uh, announced a basketball game a couple of weeks ago with him. Met his daughter Ayla and uh, his wife Gail, and uh, I'm just glad that somebody um, can can bring the wackiness from the far, far left. Bring it back to center again. I can't find that audio file, which I should. I do have it, um, but if, if I do have it on another file, if you want to come over to the table, I'll definitely play it for you. I think you'll think it's pretty cool. Um, it's a story that Dave told me a bunch of stories in uh, 1998. Some are all folklore third hand, but this was a pretty neat one. Basically, I'll tell you the story. Is uh, The woman is driving a cab. She's got that late shift. She drops off her last fare. She gets lost on a logging road called Turtle Rock Road in Southern New Hampshire. She goes up to turn around, does a three-point turn. Well, in her case, it's probably a five-point turn. Backs up, she thinks she hits a tree, except said tree is a furry tree. And as she's trying to drive away, she said something grabbed at the top of the roof and held her progress there. So she calls into the dispatcher, Dave Smith, and says, I think a bear tried to grab my cab. What are you talking about? Well, it's a gorilla. A gorilla? You might know you're talking about a squash squash. That's what he called it, a squash squash. And um, then Dave started collecting uh, stories around New Hampshire. And then um, he went missing. I never talked to him after September of 1998. Never got a hold of him again. So any other questions? Um, many useless folks organizing nothing. <laughs> it, well, I, 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 here's my point about MUFON. And I've been there 15 years. and. Um, they inadvertently perpetuate the UFO cover-up because a lot of information goes in and nothing comes out. And I'm only uh, in MUFON just there, to get their journal, which is pretty neat. But um, I, I just think it's a, it's a, a dinosaur organization of a bygone era. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or, or any other organization that I can insult? Yes, sir. <laughs> I always enjoyed the uh, Dover Demon story. Did you interview any of the witnesses? No, I, I, I know plenty of people that have, but I never interviewed uh, Bill Bartlett, John Baxter, or uh, Abby Bramham, or Will Tainter. I know that Bill Bart Bartlett recently spoke about it, as recently as two years ago, but they, none of them have backed off on their story. And there are no really reputable UFO sightings that took place uh, during that time period in that area where you could equate, because it sounds like your classic gray, a classic alien, that you could equate to that particular incident. But it's one of those anomalous incidents that took place over the course of 24 hours. Um, you know, some people have called it a hoax, uh, but I've always found it to be fascinating. Yes, sir? What was that you said about the fanatic BFRO? Well, I find them to be, um, uh, well, how can I say, militant, um, <laughs> defiant, and to have their own agenda. and. Um, that's it. I just don't like the organization. I want nothing to do with them. And I have that right, okay? So, and said, tell Matt I said hello. Thank you. Anybody else? I 
insert the graphics. I was at the wrong angle on the screen, so I got a note to ask him to send it to me. So the do doctor is reserving comments, is what he's saying. <laughs> well done, well played. Anything else? Great, thank you very much. God bless you.